Hello and welcome, Zevlin here. Let's play a little bit more of our Diviet campaign in Europa Universalis 4. I am about to probably attack Malacca is going to be my next move. Um, still have a lot of claims on their stuff. And they're allied with the Ottomans. What? Really? Okay, well, <laughs> that's a thing. Um, that may actually make them quite difficult uh, because of the mechanics of how you can't just full occupy the war leader. So we probably ought to kick that off with plenty of claims so we can get what we want. Because what will happen is we'll only have a little bit of war score and then we'll have to wait five years before that war score gets transferred over. Let's see, where can I get a claim at? Is Perak an option? It is. Okay. So we're going to wait for a couple more claims. I really only have a claim here. I guess I should go ahead and claim this. Let's pull this di uh, diplomat back. Okay, there we go, um, fabricate a claim on Kada. Kada. What about you? You're at war with Ming. I'll have to wait for some claims. Ooh, I am losing money. Oh, I'm... That can't be right. Look, negative... <laughs> negative 1.4. And 47.69. Yeah, I don't think this is right. There we go. That's probably more right. Let's lower that. Unfortunately, this is the real one. No matter what this says. Um, do, do, do. let's go ahead and reduce inflation. That'll save us a little bit of money. Let's see, what else can we do? I could raise stability. Cost, a, I'll just have to wait to have 100 Diplo power, which should come pretty fast. A few more months. Not even close to our naval force limit yet. Build a few more temples, but they're not really that worthwhile yet, so I could hold off on those. What about armories? Build lots of armories. That would probably be pretty good. Um... How's trade doing? When I annex these vassals, I'm going to have a pretty decent hold on this part of the Bengali uh, trade node. And there's a lot of money there. I will want to move my uh, trade capital forward. And yeah, that's going to be the plan. Move the trade capital forward. There's a lot of money there. Then that way all this gets kind of sucked this way, which is fine. And I don't have to worry about all this here. Um, let's see, what are you doing? You're being pirates, that's fine. These cogs are mothballed. And a few trade ships. Should probably protect trade. And there's just like no trade here. Am I collecting here? There's a lot to be had here. I'm going to protect trade in Siam. And I guess I could build a few more boats. 
I think that's going to be the... Uh, I'm not even at my army force limit, but I'm not making money, so... There we go. Let's get our trade up and running. Probably gonna lose that. Yep. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, let's send our colonist here. I can't really afford to have three colonies going at a time anyway. All right, go back down here. Let's raise stability. What is our mission? Tango owned by Diviet. Well, I may not be taking that for myself. I guess I should. Since I have a mission for it, I will be boosting stability. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, I should probably have dudes protecting here to lower this revolt risk because I don't think I have any here. I do not. I have like none. Okay. Wait, what? I lost what? Where? Where the heck did I lose a battle? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Guess I have my maintenance too low. There's 7,000 guys there. I only have 5 protecting, so I probably ought to raise my maintenance a little bit. Just to make sure that they have enough morale. Suffering attrition, huh? That's not good. Uh, split in half. There, that's better. Alright, claims are done. Let's go ahead and fabricate a claim here. I don't think I'll be able to take their capital in the war, but we'll, we'll see. I want claims on both things anyway. Alright, continue fabricating claims down here as well. Let's see, where's the next place I want? Kalanta? Not an option. Selengor? Yes. <clears throat> also, go out here and meet up with this fleet. They should pass at some point. Come on. There we go. Build another stack. Let's see, is this helping trade at all here? Maybe a little. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I'm getting like pennies out of this trade node. Kind of need another diplomat. Oh well. We'll be going to war with Heswin. Hes. Yeah, Hes. Hesinwi. Hesinwi. Um. Basically. As soon as that claim fabricates. Yeah, they have no allies. Oh, they're a vassal of Delhi. Ah. Korea and the Oirite. Alright, a new heir. He's pretty terrible.
Alright. Maintenance is a good point where I can crush those rebellions pretty fast. Or uprisings or whatever they're called. I will definitely lose the prestige there. Um, no, Ming, I don't, I don't feel like letting you through. Korea and Oirite. Can I declare war on you directly? Yes. What happens if I don't? We'll have to figure that out. Here in a second, claim will be fabricated. Alright, let's just get both diplomats back, maybe. Well, let's see. If I declare war on you, the Oirite and Korea will come to this war. Okay, what if I declare war on you? Yes. Yeah, that's how I thought it would work. Makes sense. Don't want to fight Oirite and Korea. Oirat. It's actually not too bad. If they actually do make it down here, I could crush them pretty easily. What about Korea? About the same. I think it'll be fine. I think I'm going to do that. So I can continue to fabricate claims down here. Make sure that I'm done with that. That is a pretty big war just to potentially take one province, though. Do I have claims up here? I do. So I should declare war on... I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do it. Should be a fairly easy war. Top up our maintenance and... Suppose start sieging. I don't think they have any armies. So I'm actually going to split this in half. Send the other half. Oh, look at that. We have two cannons. Would three cannons be helpful at all? No, the next bonus is at four. Hmm. I have seven cannons in this army. Five in this one. I need more cannons. Anyway, uh, we'll deal with that later. What about you? Do you have any allies or anything? No, but I have a truce with you for, like, ever, basically. So I'll have to wait on that. I should probably cancel that mission because I'm probably going to vassal feed that guy anyway. So I'm just going to cancel this mission. And I should probably start sieging Dali, huh? Tibet against Ming, huh? Really? Yeah, that's fine. I'm suddenly at war with Ming. Unfortunately, I have no claims on them yet, because I hadn't even started, because I have time left on my truce. Okay, well, let's continue fabricating down here. Um, where next? All these are over here. 
I really want to do that until I have... I take these. Yeah, I definitely want this straight crossing, not, you know, I'll just take stuff here. That's probably fine. Hmm. Now what to do with my other diplomat? I suppose I could start topping off relations with Pegu. In hopes of vassalizing them someday. Actually, I, should, I probably could with a gift. Vassalize them now. Alright. Thinking about just looting the crap out of Ming. I think that's going to be my move. Let's grab a cavalry. No. No peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to be very careful, though. Go this way. <laughs> so many rebels. And no way through. Dang. That's unfortunate. Stupid rebels, get out of my way. There we go. We can do that. I don't like that I have a call for peace. I just joined this war. Losing 10 prestige, not good. Peace offer from Ming, no. I'm just gonna have to eat this call for peace. I don't want a peace separately. I just joined this war. Oh crap, there's the oil rat. They showed up just in time. jungle. I don't really want to attack into the jungle. Okay. Hills. Hills is better than jungle. There we go. Um, you will be there on the third. Oops. Waited a little too long. Hopefully they can hold out. Doesn't look like they're going to. Crap. So not only did I lose that army, I took the uh, train. Oh well. I shouldn't have been trying to get fancy. Ah, crap. Korea has an army. Or a navy. <laughs> uh, let's click this go home at war for now. Let's get down here for their... Where are you landing? Canton, huh? You really gonna take a straight crossing? Okay. Ooh, artillery cost plus 20%. That's not good. Let's grab a new mission. Maybe. Patani, huh? Where's that? Yeah, that'll probably happen pretty soon. Colonize Palu. No, that's way down here. Not going to do that. Let's do this take Patani. Okay. 
Ellie's no longer at war with the Ming, but that's really of no consequence. Convert new places, King Chow. Sure. A little bit of unrest there now, but doesn't really concern me too much. I'm almost willing to march up here for loot and fight a rebel or two to get by because there's just so much money to be had. Oh. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another Regency? And I, two? What? This game does not want me to do anything at all. This is ridiculous. Eight Pretenders and Angor. What the heck is that? Somewhere over here. Okay. Ing. Ing. Core. Right there. That is just kind of frustrating. I guess I'm going to just pump it up to speed 5 and wait. I have truces anyway. gonna siege a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll get lucky and they'll give it to me. Alright, let's head up. Let's at least loot some stuff. Since this is the last war we're gonna have for like 20 years. I should be able to loot this. Nope, never mind. Peaced out. At least got a little bit of loot. And I did get a few things. So let's start coring those things. Just right away. So that was good. That worked out well. I didn't get anything coastal like I would have preferred, but wasn't really sure if they were going to give it to me or not. Unrest in these places is the highest. Let's see. They should be able to live there. Alright, so I have everything here I want full sieged. Unfortunately, I only have 25% war score. I do should have the ticking war score in my favor. And I can gain 19.4 more war score. But that's the most I'll be able to gain until this war is done. Um, let's see. I mean, I guess I could go pick on Korea. Not much point, though. I'm not going to take anything from them. At least not yet. I could, like, take this island. This should be in coring range. If I had taken Ryukyu, which I should do at some point. Ryukyu. Alright, let's take a look here. Where else should I put troops? There. And you guys can hang out there, yes. That will work. 
Peace offer from Dali. Nope. We're going to hold on to that for a long time. New technology. New military tech. So, barracks. Weapons manufacturing. A little bit of combat width. Some cavalry fire. And infantry shock. Yeah, it's decent. Decent tech. Not as good as tactics. Which will be next tech. Let's lower maintenance a little bit. Try and save a little bit of money. And we are going to be in this war for a while, I believe, so maybe I ought to try and make a few bucks. Ooh, did I mine? That navy get smashed up? What the heck? What is going on over here? Korea? Nah. By the time I get there, it'll be done. Vassals will take care of it. They smashed up most of my boats, didn't they? They sure did. Alright. Stop pirating. Go merge up over here. Unfortunately, that's a lot of lost points because of my power projection being low. We'll fix that someday. All right, go get them. All right, good. Now go get these guys. All right, are my vassals setting it aggressive? They really should be. Oops, wrong button. Up here. Be aggressive. Go get stuff. I don't want to fight it. Now, I'd like to go to speed five, but with the um, while being at war with Korea, I don't I don't really want to miss anything. Build more boats. Gain five prestige is fine. This war exhaustion sucks. Oh well. And I will raise this as soon as these cores finish. But we'll have to wait on that as well. And I am going to go ahead and take a break here. Thank you so much for watching me. I'll see you next time.